Today we have Chris Weston, who's Head of Research at Pepperstone. He has 19 years experience within the industry. Chris, I want us to understand in the UK um, how popular spread betting is. Well, it's on the rise. It's, you know, it's actually really popular as, as a trading tool and a trading vehicle for, for traders. I think the last report we had was from about 18, years, 18 months ago. It was about 100, over 100,000 traders. But we, we, we estimate that number to be significantly higher now because of the market volatility that's coming on. So I guess the magic question is, why is spread betting so popular? Well, it's tax-free. So if you make gains, and of course that's why we try and get into trading, you know, it's capital gains tax-free in, in effect. But there's also flexibility, you can go long and short. You know, it's a wide range of products that you can express your view on markets. And there's some fantastic charting packages. So there's a lot of various, very attractive features for, for trading spread betting. So if someone chooses spread betting, uh, what trading platforms are available versus something like CFD trading? Well, at Pepperstone, we offer uh, spread betting on MT4, MT5, C Trader. And we've had a really successful rollout of our CFD offering on TradingView, which is one of the most popular trading platforms in the world. And given that, that uh, success, we're looking to roll this out in the future in, on TradingView as well. Great. And, um, and how does the brokerage apply with spread betting compared to something like traditional CFD? Yeah, trading? well, so we've, we, we've, the commission is, is charged in the spread. So that's the buy and the sell price effectively. That's the the broker's way of staying in business effectively. Um, so there's no real commissions, it's built into the spread. If you hold a position overnight, if you pass the roll over time, there's a, there's a charge that's involved for, for, for the interest that's involved in that situation, depending on the product that you're trading. Some brokers, Peppers don't do this, but some other brokers will have further dated contracts where you could be trading you know, one month out, two months out, and the interest will be wider into the spread. But again, it's built in. So there's no commission built into that situation, but there's a buy and a sell price or bid and ask if you want. Uh, and the commissions are built in. If you hold the price overnight, uh, then you'll pay spot swaps. So essentially, it's similar to the, the standard account in CFD trading. Versus, you know, exactly right. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's exactly the same as uh, as, as, as as with CFDs um, outside of the UK, for example, in Ireland, where people would trade on a standard account where, you know, you see the, the bid and ask price and you know that there's all that commission is built into the price there. Okay. So I've just got one more question. If you move back to the UK, obviously you're a UK resident, would you choose CFD trading or when you trade, would you go down the spread betting route? Well, if I, if I was trading from a personal account, I mean, there's only one, off, one, one situation and you just trade spread betting for two main reasons. One, the accounts denominated uh, or the, the, the index or the market that I'm trading, whether it's FX or indices or commodities, are priced in the account currency. So there's, there's, you're just making a play on the asset that you're trying to trade and there's no currency risk. It's all priced in that currency. That's really reassuring. You don't have to get the index right or the asset right and then the currency movement as well. So that's really reassuring. But the tax situation, I mean, I go into trading like anyone else to try and make money. And if I can get this capital gains tax free, then that's a huge advantage for that situation. I think a lot of people who are trading CFDs around the world would love to have that as well. Yeah. So clearly if I move back to the UK, it would just be only spread betting I'd look at. Fantastic, thanks for that, Chris. Thanks for being here today.